All right, got put in pieces here. We are constructed by a toolkit genes DNA or chromosomes have it. And there are sometimes uh, uh, mutations that cause a lot of uh, diseases, our bodies, diseases are genetic. Same thing happens with the brain. There is no exception on the brain. The brain is the organ that makes us, creates the mind, makes us think, and also create all kind of delusions of God. When the person is educated and believing God, is a slightly retarded, has a problem micro deletion, and uh, suffer from delusions like the schizophrenia. Here we have uh, uh, the skin disorders. Same thing, all happen with the genes. Friends with extreme medical conditions called the clan have been earning a living by performing in a traveling carnival. But now the show is over and the clan has disbanded. Each faces an uncertain future, but help could be at hand. Oh, their genes. Craniomaxillofacial surgeon David Koppel has traveled from the UK to meet them and assess their medical conditions. It's of uh, neurofibromatosis. It's, it's a genetic condition. The person develops... Yeah, he would have been killed in the Middle Ages from cells being a witch. surrounding the nerve cells. And I believe this man in the 1600s had the same from problem. from neurofibromatosis. The three suffer from the most common form. NF Thanks to atheism uh, produced science, we have the genome that which can specifically locate the genes in our system. Yep. We all have two copies oh, of the NF1 genes. gene, and people with NF1 have one miscopy there you of, go, the with the creationist. of their bodies. When a nerve tumor is going to genes. form, Mutations. the second copy of the gene has Proving evolution. The malfunctioning gene affects cells located in the nervous system. Wherever it mutates, a benign tumor will grow. Malfunctions also occur in the brain. That's when you start believing in irrational things and abandon reason, believing in imaginary friends or intelligent designers. People with NF1 are predisposed to developing multiple nerve tumors. So they're actually growing within the skin itself. Their body is at risk for a tumor that could grow out of control. Well, we know we're a product of evolution and we have mutations. And when the genes are defective, uh, this happens, this disorder happens. Well, it can happen also in our minds, in the brain, producing the mind. Uh, what about this type of mutation? The guardian angel may have been following superior orders. Ha! Pontiff said, quote, perhaps the Lord wanted to teach me more patience and humility and give me more time for prayer. <laughs> Look at the idiot. Not a lot of people should We know this man is deluded, infected with religious psychosis, uh, very similar to uh, temporal lobe epilepsy and uh, mental regeneration, also caused by a gene. So I suspect he has a problem with a gene like this one. Um, in this particular case, this is a novel deletion seen in children, um, but not in parentals. It is associated with methyl retard retardation and chromosome 15Q24. Between these blocks of duplicated sequences, it essentially have de novo events in which the parents are normal, but the deletion is associated with the microdeletion syndrome. Yeah. So we've now identified six out of 2,082 individuals with methyl retardation that we've tested, and zero out of, two, of roughly 3,000 controls. That After we've tested. all. We create thought with our brains. When the brains malfunction, we create retarded beliefs and thinking, like God, for instance. This is what is inside our heads, the universe within. Building of neurons, quadrillion of synapses, uh, exchanging information. That's what I would We know that microdeletion can cause a lot of problems like retardation with these specific genes, but there is mild forms like schizotypy. Uh, disorder and we still, the neurologists still don't kind of pinpoint it, but eventually they will. They will realize that people that believe in imaginary friends and gods and they are educated, uh, they have a problem with their, with their heads, unfortunately, because they saw God, that doesn't exist. Uh, now let's, let's go back to the uh, neurofibromatosis, which is more obvious, it's more obvious. I am. Um when I began to get this disease about 15 years ago. Uh, intelligent designer, right? With this condition, what can I do? People shout insults when they see me. 
It makes me so sad. Well, the religious people are the ones that insult them. I have to accept the big setback for him. With Family is supposed. He will refuse even an examination. Wow. Islam psychotics. Very disappointing that Mr. Sakim came all the way to Jakarta, all the way to the hospital gate, but wouldn't come inside. And I think it's a great pity because he's he's someone who I think would be able to. Yeah, let him suffer. Thanks to, to a religious psychosis. It's a bit of a, a disappointment. What a retard. That's what religion does to you. By consultant dermatologist, Mr. Eddie Carter. He's with the UK specialist Professor O'Toole's diagnosis. But there's more. Hemolar ichthyosis is an inherited condition. If your parents are carriers of this condition, there is a 25% chance that you will be too. It turns out, both Momat's parents were carriers because they were genetically related. Usually it's genetic. His mother and his father actually had a familial relationship. There's a consanguinity in the family then that causes this. Well, thanks to genes. Mutations. The affected baby is... Great intelligent designer. Oh, boy. This boy. Like this. Scars, you scars. The other than most concern us is the eyes. The really problem in closing the eyelid. Ini dari kapan mulai susah buka itu tuh? Oh, ini juga. Mau di bandung. The result of the operation looks better. Yeah, atheism, like a believe in nonsense gods, uh, is better for science, improves science. Because you are not distracted or interrupted by your stupid beliefs of God and crap like that. You just, you just follow science. You can improve the life of others. Provide the biggest test for the doctors. What an intelligent designer, huh? These people suffer because they are stuck with belief in God, a form of retardation, disorder. Oh, come on. Pray to God. What is God going to do? See the problem with these people? See the problem with these people? They're retarded. They believe in God. That's the problem of the whole thing. Oh. Believing God is like there's the intellect in beat science. Only atheism will be able to uh, induce in science be able to cure these people. No. Prayers will never do. Believing God is a psychosis. It's terrible. A number of doctors will be able to help you here. Yeah, the family is an Islam psychotic or Hindu psychotic. They don't let them. It's a problem. See? The family have to tell him to do it. Apple is also able to tell the clan yeah. that the news is that Essie's condition is stabilized and yeah. she will return home. That's what religion does for people. Religious because it is terrible for everyone. It has no good luck place in the 21st century to have the psychosis of believing God. No sense. Because a lot of misery to everyone. Will the surgeon bring him the relief he so desperately craves? Yeah. So yeah. Religious psychosis can be very mild. Hardly detected, or can uh, become full blown. We can see in this mental retardation, which is no difference. It's position right there. In this particular case, we found six unrelated patients, which have the same microdeletion. So it's between these blocks of duplicated sequences. Well, believing God happens in the brain, treated by the brain, defective brains, and it can be extremely dangerous. Exactly. You can see this. Religion is, uh, you know, it's a schizophrenia. It's a schizophrenia. It's a right there. There should be in a mental institution too. Look at this. Bedrock of the Christian faith. Yeah. Just no evidence of. There is no empirical evidence to prove it. That's right. No empirical evidence. Very well. House in Jesus' name, I pray. Hundreds of bodies. Look at that. That's Christianity for you. Healthy. Like the story right yeah. now, talking about the There's lunatics belonging to mental institutions, all these Christians. Not because we're back in the 90s. But Dr. Tiller, could authorities have seen this coming? A couple of years no, ago, because I'm calling just, himself by the put Christians in mental institutions. The, of the, anti the brain that believes in um, imaginary friends of God and other delusions uh, is, uh, is not working correctly, uh, despite uh, the education. So the only good brain is a is a mentally is a healthy brain, which is also an atheist. That's the only way you can only 
also get good science. You can tell between fact and fiction. Bacio di Orum.